Hey guys, this is MDS Sakti here. I'm going to do a review of the Android Revolution HD 1.3 ROM for the Note 2 GTN 7100. As you see, I've installed the Google Now Launcher. It's available officially from the Play Store. You don't need to install it using the side loading method like we used to. So I'll just show you how it looks like without the Google Now Launcher. Yeah, it's really, really la laggy and stuff. It's the old touch face launcher. It's useless and slow. I prefer the Google Now launcher. Let's launch it back. Okay. Ah, never mind. Okay, so this ROM basically is the stock version for the GTN 700. It runs everything stock. It's almost stock. It just has all the extra stuff, the goodies that we will love from a smartphone. It runs 4.2 the latest one available for GTN 700. Yeah. You have all the KitKat goodness. I would say the RAM consumption is Okay, I mean, if you clear it, it goes to 0 0.91. I tried using Phoenix ROM, and Phoenix ROM was like 800 MBs in, on idle. And um, on D entry, it was 1 GB with nothing running on it. That's why I stopped using D entry. It's a, it's a good ROM, it has all the features, and but it just consumes a lot of RAM and slows down the thing. Okay, so. The battery life on this is, um, I could say average. I don't know what is it if I install it on stock, everything, just the ROM only, because I installed Agni, Agni kernel, as usual. I'll install it on all my 4.4.2, no two ROMs, it's very good. Yeah. If I switch it to battery safe, it will get me through one day easily. Normal optimized gaming, well, it won't go one whole day. It won't go one day if I switch this on. But the speed difference is really substantial, but the battery will last really, really not that long. And, okay, let's go for... Okay, the added goodies is that it's pre-rooted and it comes with exposed. The latest version, if I'm not mistaken. I have a few models running. Here I have Blurred System UI. This is what you get. This cool iOS 7 like translucent thing going on here. And I also have the Holo theme. It doesn't work, sadly. XLED doesn't work. KiCat translucent also doesn't work. A lot of them don't work because it's touch face. So yeah. Okay, so let's go to the conclusion of this video. What, whose is this ROM for? Well, it's for people who don't want the hassle of rooting and installing Expose modules, the Expose installer on their stock GTN 7100 firmware and it's for people who are coming from a ROM like CM11 the unofficial ones for Note 2 as you may have noticed if you read all the threads for Note 2 Synergen mod doesn't officially support the Note 2 the highest CM build we got was 10.2 that's all I researched so yeah all the ones that came were ports, unif un unofficial ports with messed up DPI settings and stuff. I tried them and they're very bad. I had to switch. The battery life was stinking as hell. So yeah, this wrong for people who like that, who just want to go to stock. And if you really love that stock Android feeling, just download the Google Now Launcher. Now it's on the store, man. That's like so easy. And yeah, so... If your conditions fulfilled, you can try this ROM. It's great. I mean, you don't get all the S5 theming 
and stuff but it's what you need the performance is slick and fast the D entry the settings take some time to load but on here it's like it's instant let me clear the cache first it's literally in but on the entry it takes like a few seconds that's how I count my performance last time I used to try this Tiaga ROM or something and that was a nightmare but it was a great ROM it was the first ROM port the Note 3 launcher all the firmware into the Note 2 it was really popular last time and the settings took 10 seconds to load yeah that's how I see the, how optimized the, the software runs okay if you like this video please rate comment share and subscribe and keep tuned to the next video. Peace.